Sweden, Finland to apply to NATO. Two newspapers, one Swedish, the other one Finnish, are reporting that the governments of Sweden and Finland have agreed to submit NATO applications at the same time. Here's a summary of the article. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has led to growing support in Sweden and Finland, a Russian neighbor, for joining NATO. Though not members, both Nordic countries closely cooperate with NATO, allowing, among other things, the alliance's troops to exercise on their soil. The Hague, Netherlands, the International Criminal Courts Prosecution Office is joining a joint investigation team set up by Ukraine, Lithuania and Poland to probe atrocities committed during the war in Ukraine. Kyiv, Ukraine, Ukraine has said the United Nations should step in to oversee an evacuation route for civilians from the besieged steel mill in Mariupol which is Ukrainian troops' last stronghold in the port city. Near the Polish-Ukrainian border, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says Russia is failing in its war aims after invading Ukraine on February 24, following meetings Sunday in Kyiv with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, along with U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin. Blinken told reporters in Poland on Monday that, with Russia having pulled back its troops from around Kyiv and the north of Ukraine to focus on the eastern Donbas region, when it comes to Russia's war aims, Russia is failing, Ukraine is succeeding. Near the Polish-Ukrainian border, the United States is giving new military assistance to Ukraine and renewing a diplomatic push in the war-ravaged nation as President Joe Biden's Secretary of State and Pentagon Chief complete a secretive trip to Kyiv, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin informed Ukraine's president of a more than $300 million package of foreign military financing and a $165 million sale of ammunition. Lviv, Ukraine, a fire has erupted at a Russian oil depot near the border with Ukraine. Moscow previously has blamed Ukraine for attacks on the Russian region of Bryansk, which borders Ukraine. This post received a score of 61,000, with an upvote ratio of 79%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. This isn't true. The Swedish news site SVD only reports that a Finnish newspaper reported that Sweden has agreed with Finland to apply to NATO at the same time, if the decision to join NATO is made. I thought it was weird that I as a Swede would have missed something this big even though I read the news during my lunch break today. The same is being said in an article at Expressen. I have notifications on big news and that surely would have counted as one. Just the 1000th NATO post of this week. The Finnish news site Iltalahedi is definitely not the place to get reliable news. It reads, Iltalahedi's information. Finland and Sweden try to apply for NATO at the same time in May. First off they call it their own information so it's not technically fake news. Someone probably has said so discussing NATO so it's again definitely not fake news. God I fucking that the fucking worst clickbait news source Finland has is actually getting people believing this shit. Man, I hate Iltal AT and Iltasanomit with a passion. Their headlines are nothing but misleading, rabble rousing, clickbait bullshit to squeeze out clicks and sales. It's the part where they present themselves as newspapers that really makes me just livid. I never knew I'd love reading eloquent English with occasional utisal, H-T-E-I-T, or any Finnish words for that matter, casually scattered among the texti my inner, reading monologue sounds rather huvatava as it switches to Finnish for a word. Good job Putin you have taken historically neutral countries and made them non-neutral, shit you even turned Switzerland against you. Edit because I'm rly tired of replying to a certain comment. Just because Switzerland refused to supply ammo doesn't mean they're neutral there are different levels of neutrality and activism and even the little action the Swiss took is still huge for a country who typically does not take action. Putin really played himself. Wonder what's going on because this is syphilis kind of madness. It looks crazy if you assume Putin's goal is to benefit Russia and your lens is from the outside. The actions are far less crazy if you assume that Putin's primary motivation is his self-interest, and his position is strongest if he has a death grip on Russia. There were real and material elements of social discontent in Russia before the war. Now there's an argument to be made that his power within Russia has never been so absolute. I don't think he's crazy. I just think he's endlessly corrupt, indifferent to human life and suffering, and surrounded by yes-men. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.